Hey everybody, let's start making a bat. So before we can get started on cutting the wood, we first have to put the wood on the lathe. So the first thing you're gonna do is get that centering tool I was talking about earlier, the weird looking thing, and you're gonna put it at the end of the bat. Make sure that when you do this, you press it on there pretty tight and you do it around the circular side of the bat, as you will see right here. So if there's any edges like right here, you wanna to try to avoid those. Um, press against the bat, make a line, do a second one, you'll get an X. X marks the spot. I don't trust it, so I always go right between the two and do an extra line. Here, as you can see, we got ourselves a little star shape. I like that because with the star shape, just in case you made a mistake on one of the first two lines, you'll clearly see it on the third line. Here, there should be one spot right in the middle where you're going to take your dimpling tool and you're going to knock a little hole into there which I'm going to do right now. So that said, you do that for both sides of the bat. Pretty straightforward. Get your hammer, tap it in, make sure it's mostly center. It's going to be very hard to get it perfectly in the middle on both sides. So don't be upset when you're going onto the lathe and it still wobbles a little bit. That's normal. But ideally, if the lathe is wobbling like crazy, you have a problem. All right. So this is a nice way to center it out. The higher the quality of wood, the less likely you are to have problems. Um, typically lower quality woods may start to warp, um, or ash in particular may start to warp. So let's see what it looks like on the lathe. So now that we're on the lathe, when you start to spin it, you may notice that it starts to wobble a little bit. If that is the case, um, this is from the previous video. So if it does start to wobble a little bit, which count on it wobbling, it's going to likely do that. Just grab your rough gouging tool and just smooth it out. So you're just gonna cut away a little bit at it just to help center this whole piece of wood out so it's nice and smooth all the way around. So as you're gonna see, I'm doing this and I'm gonna continue to do it all the way down the bat just so that we have a nice smooth bat all the way around. The more wobbles you have, the less likely your bat is gonna be perfectly straight. And that does not mean that when you're done, you're going to have a lopsided bat. That won't happen. What will happen is your measurements are going to get screwed up. So for example, in the past, I've had a little wobble to my bat or to the billet while I was cutting it. And when I was on the handle, it wobbled a little bit. No big deal. Kind of muscled through it. Didn't care too much. When I was done with the bat, the handle was a 16th of an inch off. That doesn't sound like much, but when it comes to a handle that's supposed to be 15 sixteenths of an inch, it makes a pretty huge difference. And the person I made it for, um, one of my friends, he held the bat and was just like, whoa, what happened here? And if you look at it, it just looked crazy. It looked kind of like a, I don't even know really what to talk about, how to describe it. It was weird looking. Um, the, the handle was way too thin and the bat was completely unbalanced. So my point is try to avoid the wobble, get rid of it while you can, and you're going to be good. So now we have our billet on the lathe. It's smooth, it's ready to go, and the next video is going to talk about what do we do next.